previously on OMG We Bought a House on an Island, what started as an ugly, tired, cockroach-infested property has become absolutely gorgeous. But it's been a process, and today we're going to show you the show-stopping primary bedroom and outdoor bathroom oasis, which is finally finished. In this bedroom and bathroom, we completely demoed everything down to the framing and built it back using the same square footage, except we opened it up to the gorgeous island outside by adding a back patio, complete with handmade rock wall and a totally dreamy and private outdoor shower. We added a sliding door, an epic floor-to-ceiling glass bathroom wall, acquired all kinds of materials, both new and salvaged, to create a nature-inspired, textured, elevated design. And of course, experimented with some of our new Mr. Kate Peel and Stick Lime Wash wallpaper all over the bedroom. And I mean, all over. So today is the day. We're gonna style and complete both spaces and reveal it all to you. Oh, and we're also gonna announce our giveaway winner. Can't wait to renovate. There's no time to go on dates. How will it turn out? OMG, we, we bought, bought a house. On an island? Wait, what? It's our dream home. Hopefully. Mom, show me that door. Coming. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the bedroom. Welcome back. <laughs> Last video in this room, you guys weighed in on whether we should do the Roxanne bed, which is the new cane bed. It's available in black and a parchment. It wasn't out last video, now it's out. And the big question was which color, and we posed that to you guys, and holy moly, you guys were commenting, and there's gonna be someone who's gonna win a Roxanne bed in your choice of color and size. We will be announcing that at the end of this video, but also right now, we are going to show you which color won out. How pretty is that? How pretty is that? It's so funny how the leaning is. Okay, this is a king size, which is way better for this space. It's what we originally designed around. This bed's also super easy to build, so we're gonna show you how to assemble it. Obviously, it's available on our website or a bunch of retailers. Ready to assemble? Yeah. Huh, we got this. <laughs> All of our pieces come with a little card from us. If you want to know what the note says, you got to order the piece. <laughs> Roxanne. This sounds like when I used to be in handbells in high school. It's juxtaposition. It's really elevated too for the price. Yeah. I'm very happy with the black. I think it looks so good with the rug. I think it just pops off this pink. Look how good it looks with our burnished, very tarnished brass little simple sconces. Good choice, guys. I mean, let's be honest. The parchment would have looked amazing in here too, but we've got the Winston fireplace with its like light colors and everything over there. So this is kind of our grounding moment with this rug. We gotta get the mattress on and then we're gonna put the bedding on and I'm so excited to show you what bedding we have. It's sumptuous, luxurious, and colorful. Luxurious! Luxurious! I am so excited about this bedding, you guys. Okay, so Brooklinen is sponsoring today's video. Love you, Brooklinen. Brooklinen is a luxury sheet company. Literally, you can get hotel quality sheets. You guys know the feeling of hotel sheets. You're always like, how do I get this feeling in my home? Okay, Brooklinen. So they release seasonal colors. And I was so inspired when I went on the site because there's so many gorgeous colors to choose from and color is in 2024. Get you some colorful sheets. You can also mix and match, which I love, love, love to do. So for this room, I got the reason color. Look at it, look at it. Ooh. And this is the warm gray color that I'm pairing with the raisin. And then in the smaller room, which we're working on with the tropical wallpaper mural, we've got this beautiful green, it's called beach grass. And this 
indigo color for the duvet cover. So you can save 20% by getting the bundle. So I did the classic percale hardcore bundle. You basically get not only obviously your core sheet set, but you also get a duvet cover and extra pillowcases. And we can like flip flop them with this washed linen hardcore bundle. This is the softest linen out there. So you can literally pull together an entire bed in that layered hotel, sumptuous, luxurious, classic look. This classic percale too is great for hot sleepers. So I chose this, obviously we're on the island. I think this is a great go-to. Oh my gosh, you look so good in the guest room. Jelly, can you help me make this? <laughs> so anyways, get yourself some new, colorful, beautiful sheets. Use the link in the description, code Mr. Kate, gets you $20 off your order of $100 or more. Woo! Bedding. I'm ready for a nap, but we have to finish the bathroom. <laughs> oh, and bring side tables in. Hi, Faye, and artwork. Oh. It is outdoor shower rock placement time. And we are trying to place these big Kuka Lava pavers. There's three big ones, and then some medium ones, and then some small ones. I want to put one big one here as like the, you know, pad to the head of the shower. And then we've got like pretty kind of more polished lava rock to go around these guys. Okay, so let's do that what? curvy one. I think we put the curvy side against the- What's the curvy side? This, 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 this. Okay, because of the specs in here we've had to go with a lot of these small ones and I just feel like it's looking like lava chocolate chips. I think we're gonna try to break it so we get like maybe like a more regular shape. Sledgehammer. Oh easy. Australia or the big islandish. I feel like we're gonna need a lot. So we got to do all these cracks. Yep. With all those cool. rocks. Are you gonna shower out here, bud? Yeah. I know, won't it be so fun to shower out here? I think it's really fun to change up wall decor and not use all framed pieces in a room. So to add some beachy whimsy and make something custom for inside the little toilet nook in the bathroom, I'm making this simple wall hanging out of some aged brass ball chain and some found shells. Oh, and a piece of driftwood from our local beach. It's gonna be an easier and more forgiving process. You just wanna drill some holes in the shells so that you can pass the chain through. I didn't wanna use any wire or jump rings. I just wanted to have the raw chain to be tied in knots to create spaces between the shells. You could add a ton of chain and tangle it up, or you could keep it a bit more minimal like I am, letting the chain pieces cascade down to your desired length. Can I help? Yeah, you can help. Let's do one of the rounder ones and then we'll put this little pointy one down at the bottom. When I put this through, can you grab it with your nails? Yep. There, okay, now we'll tie our little knot at the bottom. Let's make your own little loop. Good, good little fingers. Now pull it tight. Yeah. Okay, here's the one we just made. What do you think? Ooh, look at it. Yeah. Cool. I'm adding a final piece of chain to the top, tied to each outer edge to create a triangle, so we'll only need one nail to hang this totally pretty piece up on the wall. Hello, I'm sitting down at my little desk in the study to do some artwork because I've actually been really enjoying doing this lately, doing like digital art, but making it look not digital. And I wanna share with you guys how I do this. Also, I just wanna take a quick moment to say thank you so much for those of you that watched slash listened to our like first kind of test episode of our podcast that we put out. If you haven't listened to that, go listen. 
we called it tentatively rug cuddle, rug cuddle with us. And we just, you know, wanted to be super vulnerable and discuss a lot of things that have been going on with us. I talked about just how sort of stuck I felt and this kind of crazy identity crisis of becoming a mother and um, also my hopes for this year and being feeling stuck creatively and how to get unstuck from that and you know just a whole like energy shift um, that a lot of you are finding really um, inspiring or relatable or both so thank you so much so if you haven't listened to that check it out and for those of you that are asking when the next episode is going to be we're working on it. We want to have like a whole plan and a whole ongoing thing for you guys. New episodes will be coming at you soon, so stay tuned for that. On to the artwork. So, got my iPad here with my very vintage Curious George stickers. Moon put these on probably three years ago now. <laughs> now, I'm going to be using fresco for this. I'm just going to kind of talk through as I go through it and share with you guys what I'm making. What I'm going to do is a smush landscape. Technical term, smush landscape. It's like those landscapes you guys have been seeing in interior design. It's that kind of very gentle way of painting. You know, horizon kind of blends in with the sky. The colors aren't like too crazy. They could be, I guess, if you wanted them to be, but these are a little bit more kind of restful, very nature inspired. And I want to do that for over the fireplace. We're gonna use the Winston fireplace or a little like faux fireplace. And I think I'm gonna probably frame this in this frame I got from the thrift store, this like brass frame and it's got a green mat and I wanna paint like a green focused landscape. There are these mountains that are nearby, the mountains of Hawaii. Just green and dramatic looking volcanic rock now covered with just so much greenery. Now I'm using Fresco, which is part of the Adobe suite. You don't have to purchase Fresco to do this though. I think you can use Procreate. I've never personally used it, but I hear great things. Or if you have another app that you guys love, comment, let us know. You're basically gonna need some sort of app that has the ability to create using like oil paint so that I love this. Even if you're not an artist, you should try this cause it's just so fun. Like it's so forgiving. Like as you can see, I'm just being sort of as sloppy as possible. I mean, not as possible. I'm trying to create some look to it, but the idea is like the horizon meeting this landscape. So obviously I'm doing this mountainscape. You could do an ocean. You could do a forest. I'm thinking about doing this for the mountains of LA too, maybe like doing the Hollywood sign, kind of smushed looking. The other key too is if you wanna blend your paint like you are painting in real life and mixing the colors together, you wanna paint on the same layer. And that program is designed to kind of like mix the colors, which is pretty cool and sophisticated. <laughs> these programs these days are so sophisticated. The sky I want restful, obviously, then we've got the mountains going on and blending it together. Now, if you don't want your colors to blend together, then you create a new layer. And then it's basically like you've let your paint dry. So I'm having the sky be a layer behind the mountains because I want the mountains to stand off. I don't want the mountains to blend in with the sky, but then you can see how kind of erratic I'm being with this. So now I'm going in with some different brushes. This one's kind of like a crayon. So I'm just adding literally some like messed up spots. Like I just kind of want to layer over it here. Maybe even some black. Like could those be birds? I don't know. But it's just kind of adding to the layered look. And then I think the finishing, do I like this? I like it. A little more highlight. Just kind of creating some depth. And then I want to kind of do a road. So I'm just going to do this like brown road going here. So it just kind of looks like it's winding through the mountains. I love how this turned out. It is reminiscent of those mountains that are around us that I love. And it's totally the vibe that I want in that room. Bringing the outside in, bringing the nature in, having that green to go against that peachy lime wash we've got. I just love that juxtaposition. We've got that gorgeous green rug in there. So I think this is gonna bring that color nicely up onto the wall. And it's just like a nice vibe. Thanks for joining Mr. Kate Ross's painting hour. Good luck with your own smush landscapes. If you do them, tag me, okay? At Mr. Kate. 
Moon drew this one. She said, can you draw a flower? And he drew this. Look how good. And then he wanted me to draw mine next to it. Yeah. Because I think this could be cute for in the bathroom. And I'll put moon. You want to sign your name, like your artist name down here? Sign my name? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's yeah. cool that it peeks up. I know. It's growing out of the soil. That's really cool. Now right, you try your name. Okay. We have to figure out the finishing touches in here, and obviously right here, Mmm, can't really put anything right there. The Joey! Right there. <laughs> How did you know I was gonna say that? <laughs> Joey! <laughs> wait a minute, that's my line! Okay, well wait a minute. You're telling me I can't hang anything on this wall because of the pocket door. It would have to be pretty minor. I was just thinking something kind of simple and cool. Cut a driftwood piece and then just mount it somehow. So like like, like you just piece. like mounted it. So like boom. Or did you throw nothing at that? This, this towel's too, probably too big. To make it like kind of like more like that. What? Be screwed in like. Yeah. And you just have like a cute little like yeah, buddy, buddy, rustic. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh my god, like how freaking cute. How freaking cute. <laughs> <laughs> Final answer, we're gonna do this long one over here. It looks so cool, like I'm obsessed. I love that it's bringing the driftwood from down there, up there to the wall. What a cool sculptural imperfect element. Okay, so tomorrow morning we'll get these on the wall, final styling touches, and then we'll reveal everything. Yeah! yeah. Bedtime. Bedtime. I'll take care. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Wait, go over by it. I'll tell you about it. Okay. I painted it. When? I painted it on my when? iPad. Are you like it? You said I love that picture. Thank you. That's going to go above the fireplace. You know where that frame is from, Moon? What? The thrift store. Our favorite place. Yep. Styling day. We're doing greenery for the room. We're doing decor stuff. It's coming together and it looks so good. I haven't even put on my makeup yet. It's okay. But like, look at this vibe, you guys. Oh my gosh. I carved this. Um, in high school, in stone carving class. She's bodacious. And made out of granite. I need florals. I need little logs. And I need artwork for there. All right, we went for like a green frilly one on this side. Logs. Logs hiding behind hydrangeas. Obviously, you don't need logs because this is a remote controlled fire but it's cute and look this is the artwork that moon and i did in just an inexpensive frame with our little signatures like peeking up growing up from the bottom and dada's gonna hang it <laughs> asked about hanging stuff and one of your friends is a drywall anchor if your room is drywall just drill a hole if the if the drill just goes in there's no sort of resistance and then you're gonna use one of these drywall anchors it screws into the drywall and then when you put your screw in here it makes the back side of this pop open so that way it can't come out of the drywall
perfectly. These are the Mr. Kate Firmer side tables. They come in a darker wood with black handle. This is the lighter whitewash wood with the aged gold handle. This is such a good size for next to a king size bed because you want a good size side table when you have a king size bed because otherwise it'll look too big. Cute little moment here. We got this from our neighbor who's having a garage sale of her 90 year old mother's pottery on our little leftover travertine coaster from my sconce project. This little journal, a little hibiscus. Away some of the flowers it's just so beautiful and vibrant and cozy in here it's a little slice of the islands I mean when I think about what it looked like before when we first got this house and first moved in like do you remember the cockroachville such a journey with the renovation and everything it's now complete and it's just so magical like this is like all of the dreams that we had for island living I mean what did we do in here what didn't we do in here is the question okay total gut renovation but obviously we kept the footprint from the previous layout except that we added this whole outdoor shower here this is like dreams come true and this whole suite with the two sinks and just how relaxing it is to have this big huge window letting in all this light it's just such a gorgeous bathroom that obviously leads us into the coziest bedroom. Putting in the sliding glass door instead of having just windows really makes us feel like a suite now. Obviously the finishing material was so important here. You guys know I like to play with mixed metals. We've got brushed nickel going on in the bathroom, but also a lot of the aged brass. The flooring was huge. This wide plank oak flooring is amazing. It's just so durable for all of the water that is in our lives <laughs> here on the islands. And it just gives such a beautiful earthiness to the floors. I'm so happy with how the lime wash wallpaper turned out on the walls and ceiling. I'm so glad that we just like went for it. The lighting choices we made by bringing in the terrazzo, the sinks, that kind of gray marble. We've got all the stone around us, the coral rock, the lava rock, the vintage Moroccan rugs, beautifully handmade, just add more texture. I just really wanted it to be a textural experience as well as a colorful and visual experience. And the Roxanne bed in black, such a good choice. The contrast with the green rug really does complement this gorgeous island that we live on and the beautiful color palette that's around us with the flowers and the greenery. I'm thrilled with like our little fireplace moment, the DIY artwork we made. The fireplaces are back in stock, by the way. The fireplaces are back in stock, says Joey, which is huge because you guys sold them out the first time we talked about them. So back in stock. All the little touches that we did by using driftwood, with the shelf that we installed and then also using driftwood for like the towel rack. I personally get a lot of joy out of those things because obviously we found those on the beach. So bringing that 
nature to the design was really important to me. I wanted it to feel kind of rustic and relaxed because that's how I want to feel here and how I want our guests to feel. So obviously the bedding was key. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brooklinen. I love how this color plays together, just adding the textural and also colorful elements that I wanted. I spent the night in my Brooklinen sheets on our bed last night. They're just so soft, so luxurious, like a hotel at home. Remember, we've got that link in the description and use code Mr. Kate on your purchase of $100 or over, you'll get $20 off. Thank you so much, Brooklyn, for sponsoring today's video. Also stay tuned to see how that other bedding, the indigo and the seagrass I got looks in the other room coming up soon. And we're gonna announce the winner of the Roxanne bed. So should we head in and yeah. do that? Yeah. Let's get out of the shower. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so one of you is going to win one of these beds. This is our Roxanne bed. You can choose if you want it in black or parchment and what size you want, either full, queen, or king. And the winner is, Joey, we've, we've chosen it from all of our wonderful commenters on both Instagram and YouTube. And the winner is... Samantha Fernandez! Samantha! All right, if you are Samantha Fernandez, congratulations. If you're not Samantha Fernandez, you can still get it, Roxanne, but you gotta buy it, but She wants a queen in black. A she queen wants a queen in black, black for the queen. All right, Samantha Fernandez, you're gonna get one of these in a queen size, this is the king size. We will be contacting you. Woohoo! Okay, I love it. You love it? I love it, I love you. Mm, love you, Thanks guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being along this wild ride and look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so magical in here. I'm so excited. I'm so ready to enjoy it. Hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. We'll see you on the next video. Oh yeah. Stay creative, stay weird, stay you.